Hello, this is Deanna from SFU Theater, and today is story time. The story for today is going to be maybe not this one, but this one. Maybe something beautiful. Maybe something beautiful. How Art Transform a Neighborhood by Isabel Campoy and Theresa Howell. Illustrated by Rafael Lopez. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with colors and her heart was filled with joy. Did you saw the drawings behind Mira? I saw a heart, I saw the sun. She was actually drawing a bird. What do you like to draw? Sometimes I like to draw nature just like Mita did. Let's explore what other things she's gonna be drawing for us. On her way to school one day, Mita gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. And she gave a flower to Mrs. Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paint brushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful. The man replied. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam! Pow! The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Wow. He seems like a really creative person. Someone that uses art to create. I wonder who he is. Who are you? Mira asked. I am an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then, come on. Mira Dip it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like a sunshine. As the man drew pictures on bricks, Mita added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm of salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat <clears throat> then paused. May I paint with you? He asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. 
teachers and papas jumped in. Babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did joy. Everyone enjoying color. I love color. What is your favorite color? Mine is purple and also pink. I think both of them are my favorite colors. Let's continue with the story. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just Maybe. The end. This is one of my favorite books because it talks about colors and art and helping each other and building a community together. When we work together, we can help build a stronger community. What do you do to say thank you to your community? If you don't know, in the next video, we are going to draw and build our community using construction paper. And that way you can give that drawing to someone and say thank you. This is Diana from SFU Theater. See you next time.